Hey guys, so let's talk about um, one of my students named Audrey. Basically, she we did a coaching call um, this week. Now, she just got a new partnership with a partner that has between 8 to 22 clients that she is looking for Audrey to do basically a setup of their like accounting software for about $800 each. So far, she's been giving access to eight. I'm sorry, she's been given access to 11 out of the 22. So this week, she's like really just like buckling down, getting them all ready and all set up. And then she's going to get the additional 11, probably in about a week and a half, two weeks. Um, but they're each at $800. So it's about $8,800 just to start. And then you multiply by two, about, what is that? Sorry, guys, I didn't do the math. 22 times 800, about $17,600 just to start, you know, off of that. Now, the reason why this is significant is because a lot of people are are good at getting like um, one-time services, right? Usually they don't get services like one-time services for like $17,000. I will admit that. That is a, a little bit high, um, you know, and that's why people invest like in a in a coaching program, right? So you know how to price things out, you know, how to really set yourself up for success, right? A lot of people are trying to get to, you know, anywhere between $5,000 to about $12,000 per month. It's a lot easier when each deal is providing you at least $10,000, $20,000, $30,000. And this is kind of the secret sauce to how we help our students grow a lot faster than everyone else. It's not just about getting a huge amount of clients. It's about really being strategic with how we use our time, with how we leverage our relationships, and really how we how we build our business in a way that can really support our goals and our, and our lifestyle. Now, if you want some help doing this, like maybe even like either struggling for a little while or maybe things are starting to go well, but just, you know, it could be faster, but you just don't know why it's not moving at the pace you want. Go ahead and click the link inside the description, either above or below the video, book a call with me to see if um, we can help you inside of our program. Okay. So let's kind of dive into this thing. So um, backstory, like we just talked about 22 clients for $800 a piece. But this lady also has um, a, it's basically a job board kind of website. Like um, it's called Basecamp. She's on that. So it's very similar, like an Upwork kind of platform where people are like looking for services, you're bidding, people are inquiring of your services. She has 25,000 people who have inquired about one of her services or she has like put out a proposal for. Now that's 25,000 people that have not been offered um, accounting um, services, right? Because this lady basically does like business plans. So the number one thing that we're talking about is while this project is still going on, we're talking about how can we get this lady to want to give Audrey access to the other 25,000 contacts so we can start either reaching out or moving forward. A cool also caveat of this is that this business owner has a, an executive assistant that generally does a lot of the marketing. So we could see if that executive assistant could do the marketing on Audrey's behalf. So Audrey doesn't even have to lift a finger to keep having more of these calls kind of come on their calendar, right? Because it's a very cool feeling where it's like you don't have to do any marketing, but calls still go, right? It's not that no marketing is being done. It's just the marketing is not being done by you. It's being done by your partner, right? Or maybe someone whose personality is more in line with marketing. I know like not every single person that watches this video likes to be a marketer, right? I, I'm Even for me, like if I did not... Um, if I wasn't so good at marketing and if I did, you know, wasn't so easy to get clients off of like marketing, I probably wouldn't do any marketing. Like I don't want to do, you know, a video at 12 o'clock on a Sunday. <laughs> it just, just so happens that it's fun and it's easy. And it's just like, but if I didn't have to do it, if I didn't to make money, I wouldn't do it. Right. But it's just how it is some days. Right. So let's attack this thing. So number one, and this is a draft. So we're basically going back and just giving her feedback. Hey, Tina, I'm so excited to be working with you again. Excited for the potential and collaborating and providing bookkeeping services to your client. Whether that's monthly recurring bookkeeping or cleanups, I'm very grateful for the opportunity and just want to thank you for considering me. Okay, so we like saying that, you know, just remind them like, you know, that we're working together, really, really thankful and really going. Now, keep in mind, if you're trying to cross sell someone, this is considered cross selling, where you give, you, they buy one thing, but you're offering something else, right? So this is a little bit different than upselling. This is cross selling. It's continuation of services. You want to basically try and get this continuation of services while you're still working with someone. Once the project is complete, it almost feels like you're trying to sell them again. But if you can bring up this conversation while the cleanup's still going on, while you're still doing the work, while you're still doing the project, it's a natural kind of occurrence and just feels like you're going and taking to the next kind of place. I definitely want to, so back to the letter, I definitely want to explore how I can fit 
and be able to con be a contribution to QT. Uh, I'm often I'm off to a great start on all eleven of your GMB clients and on track to get them completed before thirty first. On the team call, we discuss sending some more clients my way as become available. I'm happy to connect me with the clients to price out bookkeeping services I need. Now, the reason why this is super important is because even if you have a partner, it's often great. Like at the highest level is you can give them your pricing structure. Like some of our students will give their partners like our pricing calculator. So then when the partner prices out, your margin is included. So it's a lot easier on every part that's involved versus sometimes with a partner, like if you don't know what you're doing, like they'll price out the service first and it's like they could undercharge. Right, because most bookkeepers and accountants can't even charge correctly. So you think that a random person who doesn't even offer your service will charge better than you do, right? So you want to actually have the person come to you so you can price them out yourself. Um, also, she said Marianne. Marianne is basically um the um executive assistant. Um, basically they hooked they hooked Audrey up with like Calendly and Ring and Ring Central with like an internal um profile of their company and basically calls just kind of come come up to our calendar. So the phone will ring or someone books an appointment and Audrey just closes them down using like our our patented script of like. How we're supposed to be like you know doing our consultation calls historically cpas i've worked with didn't feel like promoting bookkeeping services to their clients so they allowed me to message their clients as an affiliate of the team thinking of the twenty five thousand connections and keep for every client converted from monthly bookkeeping services we split the fees 60 40. if you're available this week i'd love to connect to set up a pay structure that works for us and start adding to the revenue stream of QT Business Solutions. Thank you for the opportunity. Then her contact info. So my feedback, I like that. One reason why this is very important to say is because you generally want to have social proof. So some people don't have a lot of test deal, testimonials or they don't have a lot of clients. Um, in this case, Audrey has worked with a number of uh, CPAs, a number of bookkeepers. She has a lot of partners. Uh, she's doing, um, I think she's made six figures the last like two years um in a row so it's just like she has yeah she does have you know stuff that she can use right all if you if you want to get clients easier it's it's easier to reference stuff you've already done and show that it's just a normal part of doing business so cpas i work with did not feel like promoting bookkeeping that's that's her worry i'm going to give you kind of a, a tweak on that rather than say like people who didn't feel like promoting it's more like a lot of cpas that i've worked with um, were not able to or didn't have the time to promote their bookkeeping services to their clients. Now, they allowed me to message their clients as an affiliate on their team. Uh, let me see. Didn't have time to promote bookkeeping services to their clients from when we worked together. I like that. When we worked together, they allowed me to message clients as an affiliate of their team. Okay, so this is just a continuation of what I usually do, right? Okay, so this is just something I'm offering to you. It's not like something new I've never done before. This is what I do. This, I just... And then we also talk about historically, um, keep, remember, I keep going back to historically, when I worked with clients, what we did, when we worked together, right? Now the fee is 60-40, right? Because it's very important that we can try and get like a 60-40 split. If we can get more, that's great. But in this case, I mean, I think they're already doing like a 70-30 split. So this can actually be more um, enticing for the other lady, especially because Audrey doesn't do any like marketing to get it. Now, generally, this is a 60-40 split for the first year. After a client's been on for about a year, you generally want to like end the commission, just because it, it just, um, it's more clean that way. And plus you can really, uh, really make them still feel good that you gave them, you know, um, um, some sort of like finder's fee for the first year. But after a year, it kind of becomes a little bit excessive. So I just like, like to end it there. Cool. That's the change I would make to that. So now she's to go and do this. Now, again, we're trying to connect on a call, right? It's a lot easier to get people to say yes and agree to what you're doing on a call, especially if you can explain yourself and walk them to the value of what you're going to be offering. So we're, we've made a presentation of how Audrey's going to actually go and talk to the client to make sure that the person feels really good about like working with her long term. Like they're already like working together. She has access to everything that the lady has. She even has access to the person's keep account she does not have access to the base camp yet which is what we're trying to get access to so we can get a bunch more leads so we can make a structured formula of how we're going to actually go and approach this twenty five thousand contacts to be able to go and get more clients okay Whew, that is a mouthful now the reason why this is so important is because even before the twenty two thousand dollars this like one partnership that she's already got that well she's in the process of getting she's already at one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year Right, so now she can be at about one hundred forty um, two thousand with no extra work without without these extra like twenty five thousand contacts, right? So it's like if you want to be able to go and even take a step back, like I started working with her about um, I like to say about two years ago when she was still working her job. I think she had like she had like one client for like 
I think like 300 bucks a month. Um, she had like a part-time job on top of her job. And then, yeah, she, when she came to the program, like she was about to quit her job like two weeks. I was like, bro, like, I don't, I don't know if you should maybe like quit your job. Right. I didn't tell her that. Cause I was like, you know, usually if someone's just getting started in the business, I, I like them to have like some income still, but it's just like, you know, she had momentum. She was, she was a, she was an attacker. She um, was confident. She knew that she could do it if she had the right skill set. So I was like, okay, cool. Let's do it. Um, and then, yeah, two years later, she's at a, Last year on her um, tax return, she said that she did about 119000 for her business. Um, I'm thinking about actually posting that behind the scenes, like the real coaching call where we like came up with this email. Um, I'm thinking about posting that to the YouTube channel. If you want me to post that to the YouTube channel, or if you want me to send you a copy of that behind the scenes coaching call, go ahead and type in um, Audrey, Audrey um, 2024. Yeah, because we actually like she she pulled up her PL and we just talked about like a lot of different numbers and different things like that. So it was really cool. I mean, because like back in corporate, she was making I at first I thought she was making about 35, she'd make about 30,000 plus about 10,000 a year from her part-time job. I'm like, dude, with this one contract of twenty two thousand dollars, that's almost as much what you made for an entire year at your old corporate job. And these cleanups are taking less than 30 days. It's like, dude, if you just get the right systems in place, man, like you can change your life, you know. So if you want um, some help doing this, like you're seeing like the value of like, yeah, maybe like you've been working for like 12 months already and you're only at like two grand a month. Whereas you see these people getting these contracts and you see these guys getting these big clients and just like, what are you doing differently? It's, it's not just one thing we're doing differently. It's a lot of different mini processes that when they come together, it makes everything run smoothly and business is easier for you. So if you want that, if you want to see if it's a good fit, like, you know, Maybe it might not be a good fit for you. I, I don't really know unless I speak to you, right? Everything we do is custom because every individual is starting from a different spot, has different experiences levels. So if you want to see if you qualify for help, if you want to see if you're a good fit, go ahead and click the link either above or below the video. Book a call. I'd love to see you. I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to see if there can be a potential fit. Okay. Have a good one.